We have two big goals for while you are here at the farm today. The first one is to have a really fun time. Do you guys think you can do that? Yes. Good. The second thing you have to do here while on the farm is to try as many new things as you can. It is a really, really beautiful day outside here on the farm, and I can't wait to show you everything that's here. Coming to the farm is an adventure for every child because they learn where their food comes from, they learn about the land from which it's grown, and they have an experience making fresh food by themselves, for themselves. There's a definite disconnect between people and the food that they eat. Here on the farm, we try to close that gap as much as possible by starting out showing the kids a seed, how it grows, how it becomes a vegetable, what it looks like when it's out in the field growing, what it feels like to pick it, what it feels like to smell it and to taste it, and then finally what it feels like to prepare that into a meal um, that they can all share together. Cheers! In most cases, the children who come to the farm have never seen a vegetable growing in its natural environment. So when a child comes and sees an onion pulled out of the ground, or they themselves pull an onion out of the ground, or a carrot, and see this you know, color and roots and dirt sort of flying everywhere, it's like going to the fireworks. And then to taste it and cook it, sometimes make it into a salad, it's just, you know, yet again, another kind of explosion of experience. We're gonna grab a fork and a plate, and we're gonna give you a taste of everything. We want children to take the time to really appreciate the tastes of different foods and know that there is a world of flavors out there that they might not have experienced before. Today we're having sweet potato fries. We're doing a corn salad. Okay, with uh, cherry tomatoes. Okay. okay, and we are putting in basil. We're gonna tear the basil. Why are we tearing it and not putting a knife through it? Here in the city, we have four locations um, in the New York Housing Authority community centers. And the unique thing about the city program is that we actually have the opportunity for six weeks to work with the children. All good? Ready? Chop, chop. So in New York City, every young person who participates in one of our classes has exposure to learning about seasonality, learning about how to make food, they learn knife skills, they learn how to go to a grocery store, they learn how to choose vegetables. You can make actually a stock just with corn. The Sylvia Center program, it's a warm, comforting approach to food. They want to chop and they want to mix and they want to ask questions and it's a lot of fun. It's going to be a lasting experience. A lot of them are trying new things that they've never tried before. They might take their parents to the farmer's market and say, you know, let's try this. I had some. It was good. We've gone from being in two centers to four centers. So the more that we work with these community centers and the more time we have with them, the more opportunities we have to make healthy eating and living and cooking a part of the norm. Their experience encourages them to be present with their parents when they're going shopping and request different fruits and vegetables and in the long run um, affecting their health in a positive way. Being involved in this work is particularly poignant because we're touching people's lives at a turning point when they're eager to learn, when they have the potential to take that home into their own families. And it's very rare that you actually get to be in work that can have as critical impact on a person's life.